Hi guys, Bobby Gash here. This here is a video I made months ago for uh, Just Add Vinyl Corey. You know, he's the guy who makes the videos uh, about record uh, shops, right? He's made a lot of them, right? And heavy metal, right? That's uh, Corey, Just Add Vinyl. And uh, he was he's going to do some sort of a video of uh, some of us old guys, some of the concerts we went to, I guess. And I guess he's soliciting some uh, some of us for uh, stories. Anyhow, I give him one, and uh, I'm going to show it to you. <laughs> so, not everybody that, I mean, I only got a couple of hundred uh, videos, so not many people are going to see it compared to what, you know, people would be seeing on Corey's, uh, you know, a, a video that Corey would make. So I don't think we have to worry about that, Corey. If you do see this, don't worry about it. Or I can give you another story if you want. <laughs> I can give you another story, no problem. I got all kinds of them. <laughs> Anyhow, here's the video I made months and months and months ago for Corey. Hi, Corey. Bobby Gass here. I'm finally finished with my surgeries. I can do this video for you. Uh, you asked me to uh, do a... Uh, you know, one of the concerts or gigs I attended to, uh, something like that. Now, I've been to, you know, all kinds of them, right? And the list you gave me, <laughs> well, 80% of them I didn't know. You know. I guess they're headbangers or something like that, eh? But uh, the guys that I did know here, uh, you know, um, Cactus, uh, yeah, I saw them in 1970, I think it was, at the Strawberry Fields gig. Mountain, I saw them same year in 1970, saw them blow the speakers, but I told that story, right? That was pretty funny, that one, actually. Deep Purple, I saw them at the Rock Pile in 69, eh? Uh, I've seen a lot of bands, uh, you know, Uriah, Uriah Heap, that was down at Massey Hall in 72, that's a story I'll tell. They were the loudest band I ever heard. I, see, I told you, I seen Mountain blow speakers uh, you know, or heard, heard him blow speakers, and Leslie Wessey was that loud, eh? And Rush, Rush was really loud. I've seen them guys dozens of times in bars, you know, in dances before they ever uh, cut a record. And I remember one time down at the Gasworks, they were so loud, they were a Led Zeppelin cover band at the time, right? And they were so loud that my glass of beer just kept foaming the whole time. So I remember when they... In between sets, I told uh, Getty Lee, uh, you know, that he was ruining my, my glass of beer all the time, right? <laughs> I actually went across the street and, and got some cotton batting at a, at a drugstore and come back across the bar and put the cotton batting in my ears. We had some good conversations, me and Getty. Anyhow, uh, Uriah Heap down at Massey Hall. Loudest band I ever heard. They hurt my ear, hearing. I wear hearing aids because of it. I, for three days after the concert, my ears actually hurt. They actually hurt. And they rang, and they've been ringing ever since, right? You know, off and on, right? But uh, for three days, they actually hurt uh, big time, right? And we're sitting there. I had a buddy who could get, get tickets. He used to win tickets all the time. Uh, and he used to get tickets, win them all the time. And I could sit anywhere I want, right? He, and uh, he asked me where I wanted to sit. I, I needed four tickets, my buddy and his girlfriend and my girlfriend. And I said, let's go up into the balcony this time to see uh, Uriah Heap, right? I want to see the whole band, uh, the stage and all of that, right? This is the time they had Salisbury out and Wizards. They had about three albums out at the time. And uh, maybe four, th three, I think, in 72. But anyhow, I wanted to see them. They were a great band. And so we're sitting there. We didn't have a front row balcony seat because it says that front row of the, the balcony only come up to just about your knees, a little higher. So you could get, you know, a little bump and you'd go over and over the balcony down in the seats uh, below. Forget about it, right? I says, give me second row. And, and he did, you know, uh, next to the aisle. Anyhow, we're sitting there. We get there. It was the winter time, so we all got our coats off. You wear them because it's, you know, you ain't got no place to put them when you're sitting in all of these, like, like they're theater seats at Massey Hall, right? And uh, you, if you take it off, you put them on your lap. And I was sitting between the two girls, and, and my buddy was sitting there on the other side of his girlfriend. And she's, she's my buddy's girlfriend, who I used to live with, I introduced them. She kept complaining about how hot it was, right? How hot it was, how hot it was. Finally, she takes off her coat and she's, you know, oh boy, is it ever hot, right? 
you know, we're smoking grass and smoking cigarettes. You can smoke cigarettes then and button them on the floor, right? And after, we're there maybe a half an hour or so, right? And she takes off her coat and, you know, and she's, she says, I can't believe how hot it is. And I'm smoking a cigarette and I'm looking at her like, oh, I don't know, maybe she's having menopause or something. I don't know what her problem is. So I drop my cigarette between my legs and step on it. And, and I look and I see all of this smoke coming up from the floor. I move aside and I look down. And her, she was wearing uh, blue jeans uh, that had the frayed bottoms. They were bell bottoms in them days. And she was wearing bell bottoms with the frayed edge at the bottom, and she was wearing leather boots up to her knee, you know, with the with the pants on the outside of the boots. It was the winter time, <laughs> and they had caught on the cigarettes or one of the uh, the joints that were down on the floor. They had caught, and like a punk, they just smoldered and and burnt all the way up to the top of where her knee was. <laughs> The whole pants, right? It was, it was so funny, right? So we pounded it out and all of that kind of stuff. And when we left the concert, she, you know, she only had half a leg. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Ah, oh, there you go, Corey. A small little story for you to put in with all the rest of the stories you're going to get for some sort of a video. <laughs> Anyhow, buddy, there you go. Later. So, sorry it took long, so long. There's another gig I was at. That was uh, the... Uh, the John Lennon Peace Festival in 69 down at Varsity Stadium here in Toronto. That's the one where John Lennon, not John Lennon, uh, where uh, Alice Cooper threw the chicken out into the fans and they ripped it apart. The doors closed that show. Anyhow, later, Corey. Sorry it took so long, but.